Hey everybody, it's Kelly Oblack for this week's In Your Pocket Tuesday. This is our inspiration piece this week, and I really didn't use it because I'm doing a wedding album for my sister and my nephew's wedding, and the colors are pretty much already specifically determined. So what I was showing you there is there's a break there. The pages are on the left are from the rehearsal dinner, and then the pages on the right are starting the wedding day. And I decided to put a little bit of vellum there. It's a heart vellum. I don't know who that's from, sorry. But I decided to do that to sort of break up the two days. So there um, is the first page that I'm doing. And I've printed all, well, actually I've printed about half of my photos and put them in pockets already. So I kind of know what I'm doing, which makes it a little bit easier as I'm creating. I do that when I do my December daily. I sort of put the pages or the pictures in the pocket and then create from there. So that's what I'm doing in this particular case. And what I'm doing here is I'm now selecting a couple stickers and that's from the Maggie Holmes, um, an old sticker sheet from I think like flea market or something like that. So I did that and they say nice and kind and that photo is a photo of one of my sister's really close friends and she gave her home to the bride on her wedding day so that she could get ready there. And then on the bottom is a picture of all of the groomsmen. So I'm just going to put a little sticker on that too. And that came from the um, the simple stories this the story of us sticker sheet that's where that came from um, and so I I decided that's what I wanted to do for those pieces and then I put a little puffy heart from that little sticker sheet that you see there and then this next page is going to be really simple because it's my sister and her husband with my nephew and I just put an us circle sticker on there I got the circle in there from the circles in the inspiration board so really I didn't really truly use it very much but that was one of them. Now I have these photos and the pockets are six and a quarter I think by about eight and a quarter. I'm measuring them right here and the photos did not print at a true six by eight so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back these photos with some pattern paper which is fine because most of the photos are just going to be in four by six pockets so this gives it a little bit of a, a design element there and that's a gorgeous photo of my sister and my nephew so I really really like that one of the things that I wanted to do is to try to keep this as really as kind of simple as I could because I just love the photo of them so much so I wanted to be careful about putting too much on the photo itself so I was playing around with these hearts that I have pre-punched um, and they just weren't working so now I'm going back to that puffy sticker sheet again and I found the word cherish there and I really love it so I decided to put it on the photo except I put it on the outside of the pocket and I did that because if my sister doesn't like it and she really, really wants the photo more preserved she can always take that off so I put that and the um, little hearts there right next to it. Now, this leads me to a little dilemma because when I arranged all the, fo all the photographs, I had this 6x8 pocket available now with nothing in it. And just the way the pages ended up arranged, because I have them in my computer and I kind of arranged them loosely by page, I knew I had some sort of a page here. So then I go to my Simple Stories, this is us, us paper pad, and I found that sort of sequin paper there, and the sequins are um, hearts and, and sequins printed on a page. The only problem here is that it's not big enough again, because that's a six by eight from the cut apart paper. And so what I decide to do is just back that on a piece of uh, black paper. In this particular case it is a chevron and that came from Cartabella Rustic Elegance. I didn't write any of this stuff down as I was doing it but I know that that's a collection and it's an older collection it would be very hard to find. Although if you're looking for it I think they have some on Amazon just you know so it's Cartabella Rustic Elegance. 
All right, so now I've just backed that on that design there, and I pulled a sticker from another sticker from the Simple Stories, the Story of Us sticker sheet there. And it's the love sticker. And I thought that was really, really appropriate because it's the story of my sister and her husband and my nephew, and they do love him an awful lot. So then I wanted to do something, not to put a lot on this page, but to do something different. And I decided to take my gold sequins and just put them over some of the exi existing pre-printed sequins to give it a more of a 3D effect. And that's what I'm going to do here on this particular page. So it's just a nice little break and it's appearing in the midst of these stories of these, or in the story, photo story of these three. So I thought that that worked out really, really well. When I'm done with all of these photos, I believe there's about 80 photos that are going to go into this simple stories, the story of, uh, or in the simple story, story of us, into this um, binder. And this is a Becky Higgins Project Life binder. All right, so now we are going into the church and there was a space here for some kind of embellishment. And in this particular case, I'm going to choose a four by six card, again, from the Simple Story Story of Us collection from the Cut Aparts. And on that card, there's a heart and it says first date, and which is not appropriate at all. So I went to that Simple Story sheet again and I found a phrase sticker that says on our way. And that's perfect because they are on their way. Now I'm going to leave this card very blank, or very blank, I'm gonna leave this card blank. I'm not gonna journal on it. My sister can journal on it if she wants to, if she wants to write a note, if she wants to talk about her feelings, or they can just leave it completely blank. They don't have to put anything on there at all. I'm going through with um, picking out some glitter hearts here. And they were, I have two different colors of glitter hearts there. I just punched them from scraps and that's a Martha Stewart Stewart heart punch and the paper is from the glitter paper I believe is from Michaels if I remember correctly all right so that pocket is done now what I've started to do by the way in the first installment of this which was on the channel you can see it on my channel under if you go to my channel under the wedding playlist you'll see the first installment of this but I started to um, now put the embellishments on the outside of the pockets and that way again if my sister doesn't like it and wants to take anything off she can do that so I'm back again to a couple of large photos six by eight photos of my nephew and they're not big enough so I'm just going to take this photo, uh, this photo, this diagonal stripe paper from Bella Boulevard. And you'll notice that I positioned those diagonal stripes to go in towards the middle of the book. And then on this other page, which is on the opposite side, they're going to point in towards the middle of the book from the opposite side. So that's just important. And I just showed you that, that they did that there. I love these photos of my nephew. So really this is going to, they're not going to get the embellishment. They're just gonna go in like this. And this is a really easy, simple way to do a wedding album. If you want to see my um, nephew's wedding album, I do have photos from their wedding album in my YouTube playlist. The other thing you can do is go to my Flickr site and I have uploaded, um, probably three quarters of the layouts already. I continue to do that just because there were so many and I did 66 layouts for that, their album in one weekend when I was at a crop recently. So, um, but you can look in both of those places on, on my Flickr site and also on my wedding playlist in my YouTube channel. So I'm thinking, these are photos of the church. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. There's a very large space in the aisle there and I want to put some sort of embellishment there, but I'm not quite sure what that embellishment is. So I'm going through die cuts, I'm going through stickers. I keep all of my pieces for this uh, album in an iris container. So all of the embellishment pieces anyway. 
and then there's a tiny little bit of uh, an embellishment there it says perfect so that's going on my nephew's page there All right and just a little heart on top of that sticker there and that's all done. So when you're doing this, when the embellishment is fairly minimal, this is a really quick go-together album here. All right, now I have a picture that actually was a vertical picture, and I only had one, so I decided not to do a pocket page with the two 3x4 photos and the single 4x6. So I just printed it at 3x4 and I just put it on top of a 4x6 card. It's a Project Life set. Um, it has just a gold embossed flower design. And that's a picture of my sister and um, my nephew's mother-in-law lighting the family uh, candles that they'll light the Unity candle with. So I'm going here again and I'm kind of trying to decide. I like the sentiment on, on that card there, on that die cut there, but I don't really like the way it looks. So I'm going to take that off and see what else I can find. And I have this, these kind of clear gold stickers and um, from uh, me and my big ideas, but I don't, uh, it takes me a little bit to find something. So there, I finally find that sticker. And I'm looking for other things to put on these photographs. So I kind of toy you with using that sticker, put it down and decide I don't like it. And so then it's hard to get up, which I struggled more than it looks like just because I have this this um, video is speeded up to almost four times, just so that you know that. It took me about, I think, 56 minutes to do all of these. All right, so then I find that sticker from the Simple Stories sticker sheet that says Bride and Groom, and I like that much better for that layout. All right. I am actually basically done there because the next page, I need to get some more inserts for this book. I've ordered them, they're just not here yet. So I stopped right there and I go back to this heart page because I want to put some, or this, yeah, this heart vellum. I want to put something over the top of that. I want you to be able to see behind it. And I grab this S from Recollections, that S is their initial. and decide, nope, maybe not on there. I'll put it on the front cover of the book. And then as I'm doing it, some of these little gems are falling off. And I decide that is not going to be good on the front cover of the book because if I do that, it's going to get wear and tear and those gems are going to fall off. So I'm really careful. Um, this is a vinyl cover to peel that back and I put it there and then I end up deciding, okay, I'm gonna put it on here anyway. I, I don't love it, but it's fine. And the S is their initial. So it it's fine in the end, it's not awful. And I guess it's a little sentiment that, you know, they're, they're becoming Mr. and Mrs. S. So I do decide that I want to, it's uneven there, that if I take one of these little hearts that that will help disguise the unevenness, and that's what I do. All right, so now I'm just going through and I'm quick showing you all the photos. There are still shots of all of the layouts from this particular section of the book. Hope you're all well, and we'll be back with another video again soon. Bye.